It's fair to say that the world that we live in has gone through some amazing technological changes over the last 70 years or so. Computers once filled an entire room. In 1943, the president of IBM confidently predicted that there was a world market for perhaps as many as five computers. Well, I'll be using at least four of those to make this video. We now live in a world where most people in developed countries will have a computer in their pockets more powerful than the ones used to put humans on the moon. And what do we use it for? Looking at pictures of cats and what our friends are having for dinner. Probably through a cracked screen. So against this backdrop of constant change and development, it's fair to say that if an object has endured through it all, then it must be a pretty awesome piece of design. So I submit to you the greatest unsung hero of the electrical industry, the 13 amp plug top, conforming to BS 1363. It's probably not something that you've given a lot of thought to over your electrical career, as they are just so ubiquitous. We probably come into contact and operate one of these every single day of our professional and personal lives. But I think it deserves a second look, because I think this is one of the best designed and most enduring objects that exists in the electrical industry. Since 1947, it's gone through some changes and slight improvements, but remains pretty much as it was back all those decades ago, surviving wars, changes in government, and even the adoption of the metric system. So why do I love this design so much? Well, let's take this permaplug from BG as an example. This device solves the problem of how to make and break contact with a potentially lethal force in a safe manner, and it does it in a number of ways. First of all, you've got the consistent position of the pins relative to each other. This means that you could take this brand new plug manufactured in this decade and use it on a socket outlet manufactured in 1947 and it will operate flawlessly. In fact, I think there might be a few of those still in my nan's house. But it's true, isn't it? You never find yourself bringing home a brand new appliance and wondering if it's going to connect to your socket outlets or wondering if you'll have a plug that will fit. It always fits. Then there's the length of the pins themselves. Down here, you've got the live connections, you've got the line and neutral, and then at the top, there's the pin that gives you the connection to earth. So these two are dangerous. This one can make your appliance safer. Now, looking at the length of them, you can see that the earth pin is slightly longer than the live pins. To understand why, we need to look at the socket that this will connect to, which I've got an example of just here. Now, this is a mobile socket outlet that's connected to the end of a BG extension lead. And if we have a look inside here, you can see that the terminals inside the socket are covered up by these covers or shutters. That means that I can't get, say, my screwdriver in there and receive a nasty shock. But we still need to get past those shutters to connect our plug. So because the earth pin is a little bit longer than the live pins, it's used to open up those shutters and make contact. Now the writers of BS 1363 could have decided to use the line or neutral pin to do that, but their wisdom shines through because the safety connection gets made before the live connections and that makes your appliance potentially more safe. Now it's quite hard to see that in action from here. So if I just take this one and turn it around, you can see the action taking place. There goes the earth pin. As I plug that in there, you can see that it actually opens the shutters up and allows the line and neutral pins to make their contact. However, before we send this all the way home, let's look at another great feature of this Overlook Classic, which is right here in the gap between the plug and socket. Notice that the pins there, the live pins, are sleeved, meaning that the live pins can make contact with the live parts of the socket, and yet no live part is then accessible to the operator. Now, whenever I see a sleeved pin on a plug, it gives me a wry smile, because it wasn't until 1984 that BS 1363 required that these pins be sleeved. Now, I'm a bit ashamed of this as an electrician, but when I was a young lad, I can't remember exactly how old, hopefully before I started my apprenticeship, I had a lamp in my bedroom with an old unsleeved plug top on it. And I think the plastic on the plug was a little bit damaged because it got jammed in the socket and only came out about halfway, pretty much exactly like it is there. Now the good news is that I decided before going any further to switch the lamp off at the socket. Then I decided to get a pen knife, which definitely didn't have a metal handle, and pushed it between the plug and socket to try and leave it out. Unfortunately, the blade of the metal handled knife connected the unsleeved line and earth pin of the still very live plug and socket, resulting in rather a loud discharge of energy and also my digestive system. Needless to say, I needed a new pen knife and a change of underwear. So I am extremely grateful that my own stupidity is now covered, along with the live pins, on the plug top. 
but you know there's even more here than what we've discussed. The pins are chamfered to make insertion more easy, but that then creates uh, an engineering challenge because the socket terminals, as you can see here, have to grip the pins tightly enough to make a good electrical connection, but not so tightly that it makes it difficult to withdraw. So they're made with a certain amount of springiness to facilitate that. But if these chamfers on here are made too long, it can cause the plug to be literally ejected from the socket during use. So designers actually have quite a small amount of material to make a good connection with. Now we haven't even looked at the inside yet. We could talk about maybe the interchangeability of the fuses. We could talk about the cord grip for cable retention. I've never been able to establish if it was intentional that the brown conductor goes to the right and the blue to the left because you've got the second letter of each colour as a guide, or if that's just a glorious coincidence. Maybe someone watching could enlighten me. Maybe there's a nice feature on here that you know of that I've missed. Or maybe there's an electrical device that you think is an overlooked design classic that you'd like the less handsome, intelligent and witty younger brother of Richard Osman to make a video on. Then please leave it in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. So in an ever-changing world of devices and gadgets, it's nice to know that the BS1363 plug, like the Perma plug from BG, has stood the test of time. Thank you very much for watching.